Saka fans YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let's cook with me from start to finish. So it's Wednesday evening and I'm making some dinner for my boys. I'm gonna be making some stew lamb and at first I'm just gonna season my lamb. So make sure you check below for all of the ingredients that I am using. I just added in a little bit of salt, mixed herbs, paprika, some of my green seasoning. You can also find the recipe by searching Terry Green Seasoning on YouTube and it will pop up. And once my lamb is all seasoned, I'm gonna set it to one side to marinate for about 15-20 minutes. Overnight is best. But yes, my darlings, we're gonna go ahead and stew this up. In a clean pot, I added in a little bit of oil and some brown sugar. It's gonna act as my browning. If you don't want to do this method, you can always use the browning in the bottle. It's entirely up to you. And then once it starts to caramelize, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my lamb pieces one at a time. After about 5 minutes, I went ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and just flip it over. Do you see how beautiful it looks guys? It has the most amazing color and yes, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip all of it and then I'm gonna cover up the pot for about 10 minutes. So after about 10 minutes, this is how it looks. I went ahead with about 3 cups of water in the same bowl that I seasoned my lamb in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it into the pot. Once I've put my water in, I'm gonna put in some scotch bonnet pepper, as well as some fresh thyme and about a tablespoon or two of ketchup. And yes, my loves, I'm gonna let this cook on low heat for about an hour covered. I'm going to be making some boiled green bananas to have with my lamb and I went in with a little bit of salt and a lemon slice and I'm just going to go ahead and let that boil for about 20 minutes. Once the banana starts to split on the side, you know it's fully cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and drain it off and then allow it to cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and peel one of them so you can see how it looks. And guys, it's so amazing. Let me know what you like your boiled green banana with and let me know if you would try this if you haven't tried it before. 
about an hour 10-15 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my scotch bonnet pepper because you know if it bursts in the pot this is gonna be extremely spicy I'm now gonna go ahead and take it a step further by skimming off all of that extra oil on the top of my pot and yes my loves if you want you don't have to do this however I am gonna skim off all of that excess oil because you don't want to be eating this okay you don't want this in your body at all so I'm gonna skim it off and throw it away look at how much I was able to get off imagine eating that no 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 let me know do you skim yours off do you throw it away what do you do with yours but yes my lamb was ready finished with some fresh parsley and dinner is ready to serve in about an hour and 20 minutes In St. Lucia we call this green fig however it's basically a green banana so an unripe banana and I'm just gonna go ahead and just put a generous amount on the plates then we're gonna go ahead and put in some of that gorgeous lamb put as many pieces as you fancy but I'm going with about two to three pieces for my hubby and then I'm gonna go ahead and serve this with the most beautiful avocado I actually got it from the market when I went to London over the weekend and it was so so gorgeous it was so sweet i know some people call it pear but i call it avocado it was so gorgeous and yes my loves so this was dinner all served i really hope you enjoy this quick cook with me let me know what sort of cook with me you want to see next and i can't wait to see you in my next one thank you so much for watching Bye bye